I wear hats now, Jeff. See that? What's, uh, what's the reasoning behind the choice? Well, hats are cool. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> And also because I'm into Foils War now. It's my oh, new right, thing Foils that I'm into. War, yeah. It's this a British TV show called Foils War. And it's like a cross between Downton Abbey and um, something where uh, crimes are solved. Sure, uh, got it, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, TJ Hooker. TJ Hooker, uh, it's, yeah. it's a cross between... No, it's uh, and it's fantastic, and it's set during the Second World War. And Mr. F you know, Detective Foyle, he wears a hat like this. So and that's what I do now. <laughs> I'm one of those people that dress up uh, like TV shows that I like. Nothing wrong with that. No, no. <laughs> Nothing sad about that in a 51-year-old man, no, is not it? at all, no. I like to dress up as the Detective uh, Superintendent Foyle from Foyle's War, sure. the British television show, which I enjoy. Yeah, you're a big anyway, fan. Anyway, here's the thing. So, I love the show. I get on to the, the bookers for this show today. I say, hey, book the actor Michael Kitchen or Honeysuckle Weeks, who's the actress who plays his driver on Foyle's War. Call London immediately and book them. And so they did. And they came back and said, now, we have no plans to visit America. <laughs> Just like I'm, that. I'm outraged. They shut so, you down, um, man. What? They shut you down, man. Well, they, well, yeah, sort of, yeah. All right, so what happened? But I'm not going to give in quite so easily. We're going to spend CBS money, even if I have to sell my robot. Sorry, I said too what much. The, what the hell? I sell my robot's code. Yeah, I'm, I'm worth about $5. <laughs> anyway, I wear this hat now. Uh, and you should start dressing like Honeysuckle Weeks. All right. Uh, she's, uh, she's dressed as a sort of a lady uh, army driver in the Second World War. And she's got lovely red hair. A lady army driver, Second World War, lovely red hair. All right, I'll work on that. All right. <laughs> the lovely Honeysuckle Weeks, everybody. Weeks, how lovely to see you. I am so delighted you're here. Your show is fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's been going on for a while, apparently. It has. It's been going on for about 12 years. Well, yeah. I, I'm slow on the uptake, really. I, <laughs> you must have started as a child. I was just out of my teens, yeah. Wow. Yeah, 2021. 20, oh, rather lovely. Yes. I, you I, do look exactly the same as you did on season one. You must well, be moisturising every day. <laughs> Well, funny enough, I, I, I don't moisturise uh, nearly enough. I, I'm afraid I, I'm very lax in my grooming routine. Well, don't worry, we're uh, grooming? Grooming. Grooming. There's the pony over there. He knows, must know a thing or two about grooming. Hey, he likes getting his hooves picked of an evening, yeah. <laughs> hey, um, have you been to Los Angeles many times before? I, I've been to Los Angeles once before when I was 11. Uh, I was a child actor. And, oh. um, yeah, I'm terribly I'm... sorry. Are you all right? You're in therapy now? <laughs> you might think so, yeah. Uh, no, it was for a Disney movie. Um, I, it was... Disney? Disney? Disney. I think they're out of business now, aren't they? Uh... That's it, uh, yeah. They're... Are they still going? I, I think they are. All yeah. right. It was a DreamWorks production um, for Steven Spielberg's first production um, with Disney called A Far Off Place. I got fired from it in the end, but... Um... Well, you're not anyone in Hollywood until you've been fired. So they say. Oh, yeah, you've got to get fired. If you do get fired, they don't know you're here. Right, it's like... So you got fired? Wait a minute, how did you fire an 11-year-old girl? Get out! You're finished in this business! <laughs> well, my whole family have a history of being fired as children. My brother was in a um, custard... Devon Custard commercial, and he got fired you, at I, the age of six. Really? Rollo, yeah, because he, he had about six spoonfuls of the stuff and then proceeded to sort of vomit. And so, <laughs> yeah, he got fired too. See, this is what I love about the English. You don't say vomit, you say sort of vomit. Because <laughs> he, he had a sort of vomit, so like, ah! But not yeah. a real, not a full vomit, no, sort, sort of, of a vomit. Uh, retch, retching. Oh, retch, yeah. yes. Yeah, that's lovely. Are you having a nice time here right now? Have you been... I'm, I feel like the, the Queen of Sheba, yeah. Really? I really do. It's been, been glorious to come to LA again. In, in much better circumstances this time, I must Well, say. you won't get fired from here. We're uh, huge fans of the show. We actually asked Michael, your co-star who plays Foil, to come on the show, and he told us to uh, sort of... Ooh la la! Uh, <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. No, not, not completely. Ooh la la. Just sort of. Right. Yeah. Marginally. Ooh la la. Yeah, yes, yeah. exactly, yeah. Um, she can say it. She's British. <laughs> oh, come on. It sounds classy coming from her. <laughs> You're a racist, man. <laughs> Now, you two have been working together for 12 years? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I wish you'd played Foil, actually. Really? Yeah, we might I'm sure. I'm sure he'd love that. <laughs> well, you, you might not have solved as many crimes, but we probably have a few more capers. You know? Yeah, well, I, see, I think yeah, the, the, the Brits do such a good job with these shows. These sort of, you know, detective-y kind of pipe smoker. Does he smoke a pipe? He doesn't, but... He not kind of, as well as you do. He no. feel, it feels like he smokes a pipe. Does he smoke a pipe? He drinks single malt whiskey. whiskey oh, I, I used to do that. Do you ever do that? I, I, I've tried for Hogmanay and things, you know, been up to Scotland and... Yeah. Oh, you've been to Scotland? I've been to Scotland many times. My husband is Scottish. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, good grief. I didn't know your husband was Scottish. Well, uh, that makes whole... me feel a lot better. Yeah, we did the whole yeah. first footing thing and with the... Yes, the I'm familiar the... with many of the Scottish traditions of... Well, actually, yeah. Yeah, the, um... So, uh, what does he do, your husband? Is he an actor too? He should be an actor. Uh, he's a hypnotherapist. A hypnotherapist? Yeah. I feel I should know him. <laughs> you, you probably get along I think we've gone very well. Has he ever hypnotherapied you? He has. He Does... has. And I felt like Mowgli with Carl the snake there. Yeah. It's a Jungle Book reference. Nobody's going to get it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 no, 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 it's Car Disney, yeah, that, that company's finished. Oh, it's Disney. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so they fired an 11-year-old girl that got horrible after that. Yeah. No, I, um, I would like to be, uh, hypnotised, I think. Well, I, I'm not, uh, in any capacity able to do that. But my husband wasn't either when he hypnotised me. That was the trouble. He was in, he was learning, he was a student at the time, and I was, um... <laughs> Having is, sort of... is that a degree? Hypnotherapy? Yeah, you can, yes. You okay. Can in hypnotherapy. And he was, uh, he was trying to get me to calm down because I was about to do a, a live show, rather like this one. I had a bit of anxiety and he said, well, you just got to calm down. Yeah. He was training, so he, he got me into this comatose state but didn't bring me out of it. Oh. And we've, we've been married and everything, so I wonder if I haven't been under a spell the whole time. <laughs> So what you're saying is he might have hypnotherapy you into marrying him? I, I wouldn't, wouldn't put it past him, yeah. You know... <laughs> do you have children? We do. We do. Right. Does he hypnotise them? I know. I, I, I've banned him from doing that. Well, see, I have two children. I, one of them I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't mind being able to hypnotise. <laughs> Just a little bit towards bedtime. Yeah. They... Well, that's the end of your story. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, handy. man, yeah. What age are your kids? Where have you got? I've got a two-year-old to be three oh, August, yeah. Oh, so, oh, a bit of hypnotherapy so, yeah, that, sleep. you need yeah. a hypnotherapy. Um, yeah. <laughs> are you getting any sleep at all? No. No, no, and, and you won't for a while. <laughs> oh, boy, they are a, a worry, a vexation. <laughs> but they're all right. It's the only reason I work here, you know, get away from them. Right. <laughs> It's true. I mean, I, I go to work. It's, it's a holiday. Oh, work, it's fantastic. It? People are like, how was your day? You're like, oh, I was so... I had to pretend to be someone else for hours. Yeah, dreadful. <laughs> no, acting's, a, acting's the game, though. If you can do it, great job. I couldn't end it up here. Oh, lovely. <laughs> you didn't need that for a second. Yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. <sighs> oh. How dare you clap? We're not really out of time. <laughs> uh, well, we sort of are out of time. I mean, he's, you know, going, you're out of time, you're out of time. I don't pay much attention to him, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, there you are. It's real being here, isn't it? Yeah, I often think so. Sometimes I stand with my gay robot skeleton next to the blazing fire. What, and why, I... why is he called Jeff? Well, that's his name. <laughs> why don't you ask him? Jeff, why are you called Jeff? Well, small name. Jeff, don't do a ridiculously bad Cockney accent. You will offend Miss Weeks. You told me to talk like this when she came on the show. You said it'd be polite. <laughs> That's for actually Cockney. I didn't. You said to make her more at home. That's what you said to me. <laughs> He's making it up. I didn't. Well, he looks very nice anyway. He looks Yeah, he does. Charming. He does. Yeah, you hear that? It's very nice. Yeah, kiss my ass. It's very nice. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you, love. The lovely Honeysuckle Wigs, everybody. <laughs> What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? 
So someone in this room murdered a cat using an iron. See, earlier on, the, the iron fell on the cat. Right, yeah, right. That was the device I was using. I understand. I've got to say a line now? If you want. A cat, cat, hmm. Who do you think would murder a cat? I should think a dog, sir. A dog? Or perhaps a snake. <laughs> <laughs> And how would the snake drop the iron? Hmm. Well, snakes can be very handy with irons, don't you know? Well, they can. They sometimes use them to take off their old skins, iron them out, and then put them back on again. Aha! You see, sir, you're getting better at this as you go along. Thank you very much indeed. Now, who's this? Your friend? Yes, I am the great hypnotherapist, Jeff. <laughs> She does look quite like him. The great Peter sort of really? Cerrone, yes, that's me. You, apparently you look like her husband. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> he's terribly thin, you see. He's very th yeah. Yeah. Sure he's Scottish. He is, he's oh. Scottish. You're very thin, you're Scottish. I'm not thin, I'm, I'm portly. <laughs> oh, anyway, it was the horse. Yeah, the horse did it. The horse! <laughs> Put him in the Yeah, go on, get off. You're very naughty, don't you say. Honey Sucker Wings. Good night, everybody. Good night.